rotations. He was side landing and then he came in. He was like, oh, I killed a bunch of minions. Why don't I just flank and kill whoever? You see how he plays it out. Exactly. Let's do it. Let's get into game number two. Hanwha Life versus T1. Some very... As he should be. And uh, still just pressed his F button. As uh, Chovy's toying with him right now. Just avoiding everything. Ellen though, over on the side. Arthur going to get flashed on. Hextech ultimatum. And now the Shockwave going to be used as a bit of a sombrero here for Chovy. And that works out just fine as they trade one for one. The first kill for Hanwha Life of the season is now Kana. Tactical sweep. Morgan has a lot of grit. And, I mean, yeah, he overextended and it was the wrong play, but I actually respect the bravery. Uh-oh. Well, there's, gonna, there's some bravery like there's here. Any... His ex-teammate. Yep. You don't feel like there's ever any massive pressures. Oh, hold that thought. Yep, Chovy gonna get exhausted. Can he actually get a flash out? The answer's no. Shockwave almost onto four people, but instead, he dies. Yeah, with that overly aggressive play. Yeah, Hanwha Life are gonna try to convert this into a Drake at least. All right, Closer could be in trouble. And in fact, he is. He's uh, gonna go golden, but I have a feeling he's just gonna die and Deft is gonna be able to grab that kill. So you just run around the map and win the game for your team. Um, definitely a little bit less comfortable of a game for Kana here. So that makes the uh, Arthur rotations a little bit more impactful. Speaking of which... Yeah, we got a Horsey on. trying to jump in on Carrier. Can he get stunned up just a little bit with the Magnet Storm? But Carrier uses that as an opportunity to get in. But he's going down very, very low. Unbreakable will not quite unbreakable as Vista so dang low. Last bullet not going to find them though. And now... Four yeah, Bubble is going to connect there from Closer as you can see. But it looks like Shirley will be delivered over to Hanwha. Much like her sister was as Carrier could be in trouble. Shockwave's going to bring him back and... Yeah, you can press R as much as you want, buddy. You are still mincemeat. And the Olaf's going to grab in that. that circumstance, but he's not exactly farming like he normally does. He's certainly being a little bit more active around the map as there's the crash down from Vista. Stun will land onto Carrier. Magnet Storm coming on in, sucking everyone forward. What is at all? Yeah. And now all oh, that sidestep from Morgan. Absolutely beautiful. Closer has to flash to get himself over, but the face breaker comes on in. And this was all Morgan. Now he's probably going to die. Haymaker comes in, but it won't save him. So what, right as I was singing his praises, he's going to go ahead and fall down. So I apologize. wearing it. Now Kana off to the side. Let's see who's going to be able to make this one work. As Vista does throw down the ulti, it gets a bit of work done. But he falls down too quickly. Double kill already for Gumi Yushi as Morgan. Huge shield double kill for Deft, who's still alive. Dashing forward, looking for the Jin once again. As Closer, oh no, not able to get that one done. Chovy going to get the flash out of Closer. Elam's going to... Yeah. Chovy wants Arthur's this. looking for Closer. There's a shot. Arthur's already started it. Deft is going to join him as Elim. He's going to face check, but there's a horse Deft there. Carrier's going to join in as well. Deft immediately jumps on top of him. Teleport is going to be popped straight away, and Carrier is well and truly dead. Deft grabs that kill once again. I, I swear he's killed Carrier every time that he's died, just trying to send the thank you note back they just... after game number one. Baron's going to be taken. We're teleporting to turrets just so that T1 can't get anything. As Jovi comes through and we'll clear this one out. Yeah, I mean, this is what T1 is hoping for. I mean, worse. Yeah. Um, Baron and five people is probably better than one Camille. Um, even if she is really fed. Uh, and two inhibitors for the price of an inner turret is bad news bears. But she just doesn't have any counter siege, right? Like, if you're there as Camille, what are you doing? You're standing there threatening a hookshot or something like that as Kana. Like I say, takes half of his health bar and damage just from poke that is unanswerable. And look at all these siege minions. There's four of them. Hanwha Life wants to win the game right now. They're not looking for potentially three inhibitors and a, you know, a big lead. They want this to be over. Carrier's looking for the flank. Yeah, this game of tower defense is just so unfair for T1. There's just so many, so much artillery as Carrier throws down the ultimate for almost no reason, but a huge three-man pulverize. Where are the shockwaves? Where is the damage? And there it is from Hanwha Life Esports. Chovy's going to fall down, but so is Closer. Kana about to fall as well. A triple for the Kaiser, a triple for the Jin. But unfortunately for Gumi Yushi, he's also headed straight for the death chamber. And we are going to game number three. A very, very dominant showing from Hanwha Life Esports after nearly getting... Uh, the game time, very, very similar between game one and two. As uh, 29 minutes and 47 seconds, I believe the last one was about 30 minutes. But you can see it was a shutout when it comes to anything other than, you know, a few kills and a couple of towers. Every single neutral objective was taken by Harmalite.